In Epicor ERP, you enter a non-conformance report when you find a material that is bad, defective, suspect, or needs inspection. In this video, see how to enter one. Say you are working on a production line and you've found a material being used on a job that is damaged. You pull the bad material from the line, but you need to enter a non-conformance report so that the inspector can follow up on the problem. Navigate to the nonconformance window. Because the bad parts are a job material, you'll use the material sheet. Select New, New Material. Note that you can also enter nonconformance reports for materials and parts that are the products of a job operation, parts found in inventory, or are found on subcontracts. You can also use the nonconformance window to view inspections for parts received against a PO or for parts received against an RMA. Enter your employee ID. In the job field, enter the job number. If you don't know it, you can use the search functionality to find it. In the material field, specify the material that has the problem. You can select from the list, as all the materials on the job are listed in the dropdown. The part number and description display. In the quantity field, Enter the number of pieces that are nonconforming. In the Reason field, select a reason to describe the issue with the material. Note that only reason codes created for the scrap type appear in the dropdown. The Operation Sequence field shows the number and description of the operation with the nonconformant material. The From Warehouse and Bin fields show the current location of the problem material and the place from which it will be taken when it is moved to inspection. The To Warehouse and Bin show the location to which the material will be taken for its inspection. If your company has the Advanced Material Management, or AMM, license, you can select the Request Move checkbox. This generates a transaction on the Material Request queue to move the material. If you don't use this option or you don't have the AMM license, it is assumed you will move the material yourself. Click Save. 